Okay, uh, Sunday night, I think it's Sunday night, I don't think it's Saturday, I'm pretty sure it's Sunday night, beginning of two weeks of this bullshit, second week of this bullshit, and <coughs> it's 8.30, <coughs> I just came in from getting a generator yank, I fueled it and spilled some gas, so with the spill evaporate and the fumes go away I went in and got an extended shower not extended reality shower but an extended camp shower and got some deodorant on and I actually shaved most of this shit off earlier it was just getting too hot and you can see it's really prickly too hot too much of a pain in the ass to deal with and probably makes me look younger, but I sure can't tell because it looks like shit. <laughs> anyway, got a shower. Come out and give a generator a crank, and the fans are all running again. What the hell did I do today? Doesn't seem like a lot of shit, but I you know, made a list of damages for FEMA to tell me to go fuck myself. Probably. Uh, killed a wasp that's been bothering me in here for days with my my list, so I probably don't know what the hell I did today. Oh, I did a... Fed the chickens. Went out and uh, closed up the race car shed. It was standing open. And, uh, did some shit out in the backyard there, where it's dry. Uh, did a little work in the front porch. Called both Xfinity, who probably will never fucking come back on, knowing these assholes every time it rains it goes out, so now they got an excuse to be out for a year. And Glade, Glade said... The Josephine Creek substation was fired up last night, which didn't do shit for me. And uh, the crews were in the area working hard and yada yada yada. And I went out and took a look and lo and behold, my street is dry. There's a washout in it and there's a official sign up about 100 yards down the road. But don't mean shit to most people anyway. Well, went to look to see if the crews have been through here. How I would miss their noisy fucking trucks, I don't know. But uh, there's there's some pieces of trees up in the wires that need to be removed. And probably some other shit. Anyway, nobody else in the neighborhood is lit up, so I'm pretty sure we're still dead. I haven't heard their trucks. If I don't see them... Tomorrow, I'll be trying to get a real person rather than a fucking robot on the road with Glades Electric. <clears throat> anyway, I scrubbed out a second bucket and set up a two-bucket laundry and uh, did a little laundry, which I've since tried and cycled and blah, 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 and brought back in, so I've cleaned shorts. For tomorrow, the two pair I washed looked like I had been rolling around out back in the mud. So much dirt came out of them. Anyway. So I got my laundry working. I got... Had some spaghetti I made last night twice again today. I think that's pretty much all I ate today. It's spaghetti and a piece of cold chicken. Oh, and some MRE pears. Mm, that I froze. Those are pretty yummy. Anyway, that was another project that both Ron and I worked on. I had two cases of MREs that were supposedly sealed in plastic sitting on the floor, and they were entirely underwater. So I had to strip them out of their boxes and uh, dunk them in some bleach water and wipe them down, put them outside, let the sun get out of them and dry, and then I 
bagged them all up in big ziplocks, about 12 meals to a ziplock bag. And that took a little bit of time. Seems I did some other shit out there, some other salvage work out there, but I don't remember what. It's, there's so much shit out there that's a fucking mess. Uh, uh, there's a bag of gun tools and parts floating in there somewhere that I gotta get out to. Uh, I'm probably gonna have to go out and get some rust inhibitor and some WD-40 because I asked Dennis to bring me some this morning and at uh, 6.30, 5.30 or whatever when I finally talked to me and my wife asked, what are you doing? He's watching television. I said, well, but he said, oh, I'll be right over. I said, fuck it, the day's gone. I don't need it three hours fucking later. I need it when I need it. But, <clears throat> trust me, all my so-called friends are gonna fucking pay because they ain't getting shit out of me anymore. Uh, in the midst of an ongoing battle with my guest of, what, three months? I think she's been here since mid-June or something. I don't know. I don't know. She got some problems. And we just cannot communicate. <clears throat> and the whole nature of the communication just drive me up the fucking wall and eventually put me into screaming at the top of my fucking lungs. I mean, I asked the God, I said, my life is hell, I'm fucking dead in hell. Because that's how I felt today. It was just fucking everything had come to a head. <clears throat> anyway, it has its, its peaks and its valleys, its quiet. We actually got through dinner quietly and, and shower and generator fueling and I actually got asked if I needed some help, which I didn't. Certainly, I'd rather not have the help than have that help because it's a debate and a conversation for every fucking little thing I say or do and I'm just tired of it. I want is simple answers and to get shit done and not waste time. And that's not been happening. <coughs> anyway, I didn't mention it already. She did get up early this morning and bust her butt cleaning a lot of really nasty shit out of the back and also worked on the front porch a bit. And, did help wipe down those MREs and sit them out in the deck for me to deal with. It. <clears throat> Tomorrow, I think I may get out my chainsaw and see if I can clear my fucking driveway. I don't know if I can. I mean, I got a giant fucking oak tree and half of that son of a bitch came down in my front yard. <clears throat> I would like to get enough of it cut out, the tops of it anyway, smaller pieces, so I can get my car in and out of there a little easier. But I'm going to have to dig up a CD. I pretty much watched all my movies that I have on my laptop that I have stuck in there. Hopefully my uh, luminod lamps took a charge the past couple of days they seemed to go out within 30 minutes so I took them outside outside in the sun aimed them directly at the sun for the whole day I got my laptop top charge I got my phone charged I think I got her phone charged I got my uh, fire charge which is what I'm doing this with and I even found one of my tactical pens. I did lose one somewhere in a mechanical pencil that was really handy. Well, with my peers, I had a half a shot of Maker's Mark. My sugar numbers have been so great this week. Probably mainly that wasn't a shitload of weight. 
Oh boy. Before next weekend, I'll get below 220 and be able to hold it there. I'd really like to race at 220. Man, that's that's light. That's fast. Of course, I gotta put my car together. <coughs> Anyway, I've been writing down damages and shit, and writing them down, things don't look so bad, but there was some shit that really hurt me. I lost 20 years in notes and collections and shit on my Lotus Esprit, and my Lotus Parts manual may be at a loss. I, I don't know, I may have to dunk it and a bucket of water and pull a mile of page at a time but it it's, looks like it's about to turn to mulch but uh, my service manual looks to have survived I have a big a big flight case that I kept all my loader shit in other than those two manuals and that whole fucking case was underwater I have a lot of gun cleaning shit too that probably took a dunk in there. And most of that will probably not be fucked up other than patches and things like that. Depends on what rust. <clears throat> so, seems like I did nothing today, but I, it took all fucking day and I was watching the day spool away from me about 3 o'clock on because everything is an ordeal you gotta <coughs> cook every meal and then you gotta boil water to clean up the dishes afterwards and you gotta pump water for the laundry for the scrub bucket and for the rinse bucket and it's everything, 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 everything is an ordeal. But I got some clean clothes, I got a clean body for a change, and I'm laying here after the shower, not sweating. The last shower I had, I was sweating my ass off within about five minutes. So it's quarter to nine Sunday I can't think any more bullshit to ramble on about for right now uh, I think I'm gonna find a CD to entertain me or get back to my book I've been getting through all my I've won a shitload of survivalist books from uh Modern Survival Online, which is now a suck site, but back then it was one of the better ones on the internet. Anyway, I want a whole library of survivalist books by a number of different authors that have been sitting, and I've never really gotten a chance to sit down with them, and I read through three of one authors, and I'm starting the first book of about six of another author. And, uh... For somebody used to read two, three books a week. I haven't read shit since I moved up here. Anyway, I just rattle on. It doesn't seem to make any sense. My brain still doesn't seem to be functioning at 100%. I'm just tired all the time. Well, fuck, I'm an old guy. But, anyway, tell me what you think of this. Hmm, I got jowled. Anyway, Dennis Sebring, Sunday, 8.45, out.